gotta watch out for snakes. You can tell just by the size of the trees and stuff, it was a nice shady spot to be. Because that valley oak there is hundreds of years old. That, that's, whatever that is right there. That's another valley oak. So big, the big. Hangs over and stuff. Then you've got the willows. But there's a waterway right over here, so that's another reason to be here. That's all waterway down through there. Interesting history in here about the fort itself. It's pretty cool. Peter Lebec was killed by a bear in October of 1837. Wow. It's like straight out of the revenant. Some of the uniforms. A big cannon. It's like a 20 pounder or something. That's solid, solid brass. See its ear sticking up? Come here. See just to the right of the tree? You can see its body. See its ears sticking up just above the Oh toes. yeah, yeah, now I can. It's a little doe. Yeah. There she is. Oh, she's eating the mm -hmm. fresh leaves From off the, the tree. Off the tree. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So I think this would have been like the main barracks for the troops stationed here. Yeah, she's. She's eating the fresh leaves off the off the tree. That's cool. You can send me a picture. Hey, baby. She's interested in us. There she goes. I took video. So this is the stairway, I think, into what is the barracks where the troops would have been. I think that's the like the general's headquarters, and then there's a brig. It looks like a right jail back there. We'll go check that out. All right, we got some soldiers. In full garb. It's the uniforms they wore from 1854 to 1864 for a decade. There's some somber looking figures. Come in here. Looks like it's going to be a set of surgeon's tools. And then there's the layout. That's this building, I think. Right, let's see. Hospital commissary. Hmm. Example of what some of the women would wear. And some of the activities. Ooh, and a 
watch in there, guys. What is that watch? I can't tell. If anyone knows what that pocket watch is, maybe it's just a replica, I'm not sure, but... I got some... stuff the soldiers might be wearing, some saddles, and some pretty cool stuff here. Got some big, big pistols there. Top and bottom are 44 caliber, the middle's a 36 navy. For the size of that Colt number two, second model Dragoon. That's a beast. And we've got a 1941 musket, 54 caliber. This is when you get into your your Sharps carbine. So these are actually breech loading rifles. You drop that lever, stick your round in behind it, cock the hammer and fire it. So this was more of a rapid fire, actually a cartridge fired weapon. <clears throat> and then again, we got more muskets. We have Springfield here in the front, 58 caliber, 58 caliber. It's like a water pipe. It's insane. People were throwing like steely marbles at each other. And here's an example of what a mounted soldier might look like from the fort in the day. And this room is glassed off, but you can see a large fireplace here. Uniforms hanging and then the bedding is rolled up. So this would be where the actual sleeping quarters was for the soldiers of the fort. Slept on mattresses, but they were on the floor rolled up. You can see their hats and their boots up above on the rack there. And then I think there's, we can get a look into that room back there, which I think would be the like the quartermaster's uh, room, possibly. And then you can see the rifles, bayonets, swords all ready to go, just in case they need them. They're going to be right by their side. And quickly a look at some of the uniforms. Let's go check out that master quarters. Actually, this is the first sergeant's room. And so you can see his own room, fireplace. Pretty cool. Dragoon's flag there. And then you've got the master's quarter. Wait, not the master, that's the first sergeant's room. And, and he's not in here alone. It looks like there's four beds. So that he's going to have his main guys with him in here desk, and correspondence. And then, yeah, saddle here. So, pretty neat. And there, if you guys want a little more information about this particular first sergeant's room, there you go. So, here's the main main building here. All adobe brick. Very typical building out here in the west. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. They got a rooster out in the cage back there. I can't believe that. Okay, so this this was the this was the place you wanted to be, right? Hopefully that rooster's what's for dinner. For some people, meat is murder. Pretty neat. Got everything laid out like it would have been back in the day. This is what the basement? That's just scary and dark. Where they stored mostly food and preserved snakes and lizards and other things for the Smithsonian. Because it kept kept cool. Oh, for the Smithsonian, because they were sending stuff from the West back back there. That's neat. Science examples. Some desk. This is the captain's house. 
Imagine being the captain of this fort, and this is your this is your layout. Pretty nice. I mean, yeah, 1854, 1854, 1864. This would have been a nice place to have. You can see that fireplace is well used. It's neat. We'll go up the stairs. Check out the back patio first. Nice little patio off the back of the house. And this is looking into, oh, this is the kitchen. Check that out and see if you guys can see that. A little tough to see in there, a little dark. Chicken, it's what's for dinner. All right, now let's go upstairs. Super narrow stairway. Window at the top to light it all up in here. Gets dark. This is pre-electric lighting. Right, gas lanterns. As you can see in every room has gas lanterns. This would have been the kids room. The child and the servant would have slept in here. A little rocker on the floor. Pretty cool. Beautiful window looking out. I saw lots of wildlife out that window, kids did. And this would be the adult bedroom, I'd assume the master's quarters or the captain's quarters. You can see a nice washing area over here. You wash up in the morning, as I'm sure the servants would bring up water. And then you've got the closet there. A nice desk underneath the window and the bed. I kid you not. That thing almost made me jump out of my skin when I came around the corner. A wolf hide on the floor. I, I don't know if that's original for the, for the room. It doesn't say anything on the sign about it, but man, it did, it did make me jump. I have to admit. All right, go back downstairs. All right, so that building over there uh, underneath or behind the big valley oak trees, that is actually the quartermaster's office from what I understand. And then over in that area there, right across from the main quarters building, uh, there used to be a kitchen over there that burned down. But this is a view from the captain's deck here. Of course, back in the day, there wasn't an interstate cutting right through the middle of the front yard, but pretty impressive. So thanks for joining me. And for guys that stuck around, I am wearing my Laco Cookshaven. I don't know if I can get that to, to focus there, guys, but... We're in Alaco today. So, all right, guys, take care. See ya.